Okay, using the thermodynamic information, calculate the standard reaction free energy following the chemical reactions. So in this case, you have the methane react with two more of oxygen. They produce one more of carbon dioxide and uh, two more of water. So if we want to calculate the delta G of this reaction, so simply what we need to do, if you have the data, we simply know, right, equals to two times the formation energy. The Gibbs for free, Gibbs free energy of the formation energy of the water gas vapor plus two times the Gibbs free energy, formation energy of the CO2 minus two times the Gibbs free energy of the oxygen and minus two times Gibbs free formation energy of the methane. So if you have the table, simply just plug in all the numbers where right? you can get the answer. So please be realize the free energy of the oxygen is actually zero since it's a pure compound, right? Sometimes it would be hard to only have the delta H and delta S. So the first thing is you calculate the delta H first, right? Equals to two times enthalpy of the formation of the water vapor plus there's no two here right formation enthalpy of the carbon dioxide minus there's no two here either <laughs> so minus formation enthalpy of the methane and then you calculate the delta s the same Formation entropy of the water vapor plus the formation entropy of the carbon dioxide minus the formation entropy of the methane. And once you have the delta S and delta H, delta G should be equal to delta H minus T times delta S. So you didn't give us the table, right? The numbers. So uh, this is how much I can help you. But I believe you just need to plug in the numbers here and you can get the answer. So remember, there's no two, right? There's no two, there's no two. Uh, I made a mistake. So that's it.